Hey everybody, I've got a trailer project that's been sitting out in my field now for about five years. And um, we're going to be completing it. Now this originally was a travel trailer frame, but however it is two by five and a quarter, two and a quarter by five and a quarter box and three sixteenths metal wall, which is, makes it pretty strong. Uh, this was off of an old RV, so it uses the Dexter Dayton Lafayette star rims and I've got another set here with some pretty brand new tires on them some liberators now yes that is a truck tire pickup truck tire but it works perfect for this as far as these wheels are concerned you cannot take them down to a regular shop and balance them so I'm going to be showing you how to balance these wheels um, it's not perfect but it's huge comparison to not balancing this Dexter rim okay it's a huge improvement compared to what you would get uh, without balancing them at all so getting back over here on this now you're going to see stages and steps as I build this into a flatbed and uh, this is a total length of 20 feet 9 inches so it's a 16 foot bed using 16 foot lumber and years ago I went in and I made little truss members for it uh, originally you can see the more rusted uh, metal that's the original paint and this is going to be sanded down uh, best I can I'm just going to kind of sand it down and then hit it with a coat um, but I made these additional trussings in here to make it uh, quite a bit stronger for what I'm going to use this for now width of it is 70 inches and then we're going to be making our own diamond plate fenders for it so you'll get to see this in step by step now one of the first things that we're going to do on this trailer here is we're going to install shock absorbers now most of you guys probably have never seen this style shock absorber you can spend a ton of money going to a trailer place and getting these for about 50 bucks a piece but i got these for about 20 dollars a piece and they're not for a trailer originally but they're made to hold up a v8 engine you know they're made strong enough and to to support the weight of a v8 engines uh, or to react to the weight of a v8 engine so you can see here very nice slow response very good dampening and i'm going to put a link in the bottom of the video so down at the bottom of the video i usually do this for everybody and i'll show you where i got these from um, but it's a monroe shock gabriel also makes a similar model and i'll put a link for that too um, but these shocks will be mounted using standard carriers just like this that i'll be cutting and mounting welding onto the frame like this to go down and hit the axle and then we'll have another piece of it down here that's going to mount and be re-drilled for the other end of the shock so the shock is it's not shielded but it is made with a special chromium that doesn't allow dirt or soil and three seals as you all notice how thick this is right here it has three seals so it, it has a wiper seal that will remove any soil or soil or dirt and by placing these in this upright position and making a, a splash plate drop down on my trailer here on this side of the uh, frame on the inside of the frame it'll keep it pretty clean so we're going to make a little piece of angle that's going to of sheet metal that's just going to block it from debris but these shocks will save your tires so if you want to put shocks on an rv trailer or a fifth wheel or just a you know flatbed so you extend the life of your tires which it'll do greatly um it's worth it it's uh, about 75 bucks by the time you're done to put shocks on your trailer and you'll see me do that in the first step of this video kind of a series that i'm going to do so hopefully that's going to help people here is the uh, box that comes in gas charge shock absorber and here is the hardware that comes with it um, so you can see it's going to be an easy mount plenty of room with this shock to fit in here as you can see it going down here's touching the u-bolt carrier right there for the axle plenty of space and i'll compress this by one third of a of the way 
when I do the makeup on it so that it has plenty of travel and since it's pretty much topped out with no weight currently on it that'll be perfect for this trailer so we'll get it set up so you'll know what this is and looks like it's border collie time bring it here nothing like a border collie um, get you a helper too they come out and come in handy so we'll see this we'll also cut and chop um, this trailer had uh, a start on it and now we're going to go ahead and finish it so all the stuff that's currently in the shop this trailer is being finished uh, been working on some other RVs here lately while I've had home time and this is our next project y'all be watching for it <laughs> 